kids plus expensive tech, not always a good idea. That's why tablets like the Fire Kids Edition tablets are a great idea and are really popular. As of right now, Amazon has three different versions of the Fire Kids Edition tablets. But which one is right for you? Well, let's take a look. Hey guys, welcome to Retether Tech. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Fire 7, the Fire HD8, and the Fire HD10 Kids Edition tablets, see what they offer, and hopefully help you decide which one is better for you. Let's start off with what these tablets have in common. All three tablets come with a kids-proof case to help protect the tablet from, well, kids. They also have a two-year worry-free guarantee, which is pretty much an insurance. So if your kid breaks it, you can return it to Amazon and get a replacement, no questions asked. All three also come with a one-year subscription to Amazon Free Time Unlimited, which will have all the content your kids will love, including videos, apps, and games. You can also update the child's profile and give them access to even more content like Netflix and Minecraft. With these three tablets, you also have access to parental controls, where you can limit the amount of screen time your child has, as well as manage the content that is on these tablets. And because these tablets are technically just regular Fire tablets, you can exit the free time application with a parental pin and have access to all of Amazon App Store applications like Zoom, a web browser, and much, much more. But now let's get into the differences. First of all, the price. The Fire 7 Kids Edition is $99.99. The HD8 Kids Edition is $139.99, and the Fire HD10 Kids Edition is $199.99. The other difference with these tablets is screen size. The Fire 7 has a 7 inch 1024 by 600 resolution display. The Fire HD 8, even though it has HD in the name, doesn't have full HD. It's an 8 inch 1280 by 800 resolution display. The Fire HD 10 Kids Edition is a 10 inch 1920 by 1200 resolution display. So. Obviously, the more expensive tablet has a better display out of all of them. When it comes to storage, all three are expandable with an SD card, but the Fire 7 comes with only 16 gigabytes of internal storage. And in my experience with the Fire 7 Kids Edition, you're gonna need an SD card. The Fire HD 8 and the Fire HD 10 Kids Edition tablets both start with 32 gigabytes of storage, but with the Fire HD 8, you can expand up to one terabyte with an SD card, while the other two, you can only expand up to 512 gigabytes. But that 512 gigabytes should be way more storage than your kid actually needs. Performance is where these tablets are a little different. The Fire 7 Kids Edition has a quad-core 1.3 GHz CPU and 1 GB of RAM, and it's really slow. Very slow. The Fire HD8 has a quad-core 2.0 GHz CPU with 2 GB of RAM, and even though it's not blazing fast, it's noticeably faster than the Fire 7. The Fire HD 10 has an octa-core 2.0 GHz CPU with also 2 gigs of RAM, and it should be the better performer of the three. The HD 8 and HD 10 Kids tablets also have 12 hours of battery life according to Amazon. They also have dual speakers and a USB Type-C connector, while the Fire 7 only has 7 hours of battery life according to Amazon, a single mono speaker, and a micro USB connector. Which, if you have small children, can be a problem if your child likes to connect the tablet to charge and doesn't insert the connector the right way. So, which of these tablets are right for you? Well, if you want to spend the very least amount of money, the Fire 7 Kids Edition is the choice. It's the cheapest in almost every single way. 
the Fire HD 10 Kids Edition is going to be the best tablet in almost every area. But that's why I think the Fire HD 8 Kids Edition may be the best option for most people. It's right in that sweet spot of price and performance. It's cheaper than the HD 10 Kids Edition, but performs better than the Fire 7 Kids Edition. Really? It's going to depend on what's better for your child, but hopefully this gives you a better idea of what each tablet has to offer. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos just like this one on tech news, reviews, and opinions, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching.